Hello, today I'm going to teach you all how to be time travelers. And this was inspired by my previous video, where I talked about how to turn a red light green by going two-sevenths of the speed of light towards it. And I realized that time dilation might take effect, and you might actually be even later to work. So, here's when we'll find out. So, Einstein wrote a time dilation equation that goes T equals T at rest divided by the square root, that's going to take up a lot of space, um, 1 minus V squared divided by C squared. And so this is how you can tell how much time is dilated when you are standing on the ground and someone else is traveling near the speed of light. So, T by itself is, um, it's the time observed for someone who's standing still relative to the traveler. So it's for the, in Einstein's little, in the thought experiment, the twin, twin thought experiment, it's the twin staying on Earth while the other twin is zooming off to the stars at the speed of light. So we're going to call that the time that's dilated, because that's the time that's affected, not the, tw not the uh, twin. The twin in the, um, in the spaceship still is, still feels like it's been 10 years or so. Now, T-O, you might recognize that O from uh, the delta lambda, lambda at rest. That means time at rest, whoopsies, and that is the time that is on the ground. Time, let's, yeah, time, time on the ground. Even though it's, could, it's not technically on the ground, it could, you could be, could be anywhere, but we'll just call it on the ground. Pool quotes there. Okay. V is the speed of the traveler. And C is the speed of light in a vacuum, as we have already told you. And then a vacuum simply means that there's nothing in the way to slow it down like air. It's just out in like the vacuum of space or in a vacuum chamber. And here are some things I've found out about it. If V is relative to um, is measured relative to the speed of light or C, then the, then it becomes a lot easier. And I'll show you later in our in our real IRL in real life video. So if V is measured relative to C, so like 0.5 C or 0.7 C, what's going to happen is the C's in the equation will cancel out. And you see there's only one, but if you add another C, it becomes a lot easier, actually, because then you don't have to calculate C because it will cancel out. Okay, and the last one is very important. The time dilated is in the, in, in the same units as time on the ground. So that's something to keep in mind when you're doing this. Okay, the, so that is how you calculate 
how much time has changed when you're traveling near the speed of light compared to someone on the ground. I will see you next video when we use the twin paradox and what we and our driving and how we drove to work by turning the red light green. I'll see you there.